In the early hours of the morning, the sky over Haley Gubby split open. A towering ash plume rose like a mountain of smoke, lit from within by volcanic lightning, nature announcing its fury to the world. Across the vast East African Rift Valley, a shockwave rippled over the land. Dust lifted, distant peaks glowed red, and the earth trembled as if awakening from a thousand-year sleep. On scorched ground near the crater, the earth itself began to tear apart. Glowing rivers of molten rock pushed through the cracks, each pulse a reminder of the unstoppable force rising below. As ash drifted over Aftera village, rooftops disappeared beneath a gray blanket. Silence filled the streets, broken only by the distant rumble of the volcano growing stronger with every minute. Under an ash-darkened sky, long lines of families walked the mountain roads, carrying only what they could hold, moving towards safety, while the glow of the volcano burned behind them. A silent journey of fear, endurance, and hope. High above the Red Sea, colossal ash clouds stretched across the horizon. Rolling shadows swallowed the sunlight as the eruption's reach extended far beyond Ethiopia's borders. Down the mountainside, molten lava carved a burning path through the land, every glowing wave reshaping the earth, igniting everything that dared to stand in its way. Closer to the foothills, the lava finally reached the village. Wooden huts ignited instantly, fields burned, and homes collapsed under the unstoppable wave of molten rock, a community swallowed by fire in minutes. When night fell, the sky turned the color of fire. A red glow illuminated villages, fields, and mountains, painting the darkness with the fury of the volcano. Across the grazing plains, ash drifted like a storm. Animals stood frozen in the swirling haze as the land they knew transformed into a silent gray wasteland. As the eruption slowed, glowing lava hardened into black stone. Smoke curled from cooling cracks, marking the birth of new land forged in fire. 